go. Oh, yes. Dirty 30. RX, he won for their final workout of the day. So they can leave it all out on the floor here. And that's what I'm expecting to see. Just let these athletes settle in and then we'll check in. Ellie Walton already into the double digits on the row. And ladies and gentlemen, 30-30 is a chipper of six movements. We start on the rower, we advance to the rim dips, then we move on to the deadlifts, we do some wall balls, some chest to bars, and we finish up with another set of 30 calories on the rower. All movements for 30 reps. And yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Sam Proctor, lane 28, first male athlete advancing to the ring dips. They are allowed to keep on the ring dips. On the female side, I've got my eyes on Tiffany Dunster, one of our strongest athletes in this scene. She's going to race to the rings alongside Belinda Dennett. Some wonderful ring dips down there from Tiffany in lane two. Two minutes in all our male athletes here on the ring dips. This is heat number one off two. Oh, hello, hello. Lane number 15, Casey Tucky, done with 30 ring dips. That was fast, ladies and gentlemen. Out right, here we have Max Baggio, Baggio and uh, Gareth Hughes, lane 21, also joining the mix. 30 rips, 80 kilos on the deadlift. This is a challenging movement for our female athletes, but Tiffany Dunster, she advances on to the barbell now. 30 deadlifts for her. Casey Tucky, ladies and gentlemen, closest uh, to the crowd there. Lane 15, already to 15 wall balls, but it's Max Baggio. Lane 27. Also in the mix, and lane 21 carries Hughes as well. 30 wall balls. And your second female athlete to the barbell, Vicky White. Elisa Eakin, who's been up there with some of the top finishes in this heat of the day. Also on the barbell, as is Ellie Walton. We've got DJ Racky bringing the absolute vibes for this heat. Who needs that while they eh? Racky every day. 
Five minutes in, uh, 12 minutes is the time gap. Already a lot of the lads here on those chester bars. Remember, after the 30 chester bars, we move on to the final portion, the 30 calorie row. And ladies and gentlemen, lane 27, Max Bacchio. Come on, Max. Now's the time to pull the only athlete right now on the rower. And Tiffany Dunster already onto the Chester bars on the female side. Max right now, lane 27, pulling at 1,600 calories. Let's see if Casey Tucky, lane 15, can put on any pressure on there. Meanwhile, Phil Dean coming in as well. It seems like Casey Tucky can't see his score, but right now, Max is already at 20 calories. And now the rest of the field coming to the rover as well. But this is, this is Max's time to shine. RX Men's Heat, number one winner, Max Baggio coming in hot. And Lisa Eakin as well on the Chester bars. And now lane 15, Casey Tucky. Few more calories remaining. Casey's gonna take second place here in this heat. And out of nowhere, lane 10, Vicky Y onto the rower. Tiffany Dunster, two reps left. And Scott Trilliven in lane 18 coming through as well. And also be under eight minutes, Dean Rain coming in as well. We still have four minutes remaining. Four minutes left of this 12 minute time cap. And we're expecting a big chunk of our athletes to get through this work. We've currently got two females out on the rower. And Vicky White in 10. She's got 10 calories to go. All of our male athletes now under the rower. Tom Morgan, lane 16 as well. Tom already at 20 calories. Meanwhile, Josh Bland at five. And it's Vicky Y on your female side. Just under nine minutes. Your heat leader. Three minutes to go. Tom Morgan pulls through. Final calorie for Tiff Dunster. She's got to get across the line and she's in. Second in the heat on the female side. Just planned right now at 23 calories. And Molly Butcher, a familiar face on our comp floor. Through your ringnets and onto the deadlifts. Joss Bland is through, as it's been fairly. All of our male athletes are through in sub 10 minutes.
We're still looking for your third place finisher in this heat. Hand in the air. Lene Eliza Akin, she looks like she's gonna be your third place heat finisher. Final, she's gonna get across the line now. 90 seconds. And she's in. Lane five, Belinda Dennett. Two final cows for her. Remember, this is heat one of two of our RX, so it really is. All to play for, you've got to seconds. keep going right till the end. This is the part where we need the crowd to get behind these athletes, scream these calories on the road. Final 10 cows for Amy Gibson. 30 seconds. 30 seconds to go then, and these girls are gonna pull for their lives. Six calories left for Ellie. 15. 10. Final few pulls, girls, let's go! Five. And Ellie's gonna make it in, she's three, gonna get across the line! Two, one, time! <laughs> nice. uh, give it up for RX Heat one, number one. That was their fourth and final event of today. But we still have one more heat of the RX athletes coming in shortly. RX heat number two to the holding area, please. So for the RX females, the time to beat set by Vicky White at 8.52. Mad. Seems that the floor is about ready. So ladies and gentlemen, give a warm round of applause for RX Heat number two. Welcome back to the floor for the final time. In lane one, Ellie Spooner. In two, Lacey McKenzie. In three, it's Kelly Griffiths. In four, Diana Hartley. In five, Georgina Landy. And in six, Tara Watkins. In seven, Beth. Datani Bell, in eight, Samantha Wilding Mosley, in nine, Mary Cleland, in 10, Ellie Geldard, in 11, Charlotte Redmond, in 12, it's Sarah Thompson, 13, Stephanie Wayman, and back in 14, it's Jade Armstrong. Who's with you, Totty? We have a bunch of guys here as well. In lane 15, Kyle Reed, in lane 16, Tom Arnold, lane 17, Jordan Powell, and in lane 18, Alessio Casile, in lane 19, Tyler McManus. In lane 20, Alex Mosley. In lane 21, Ashley Rumble. In lane 22, Ben Longton. In lane 23, Nathan Bland. In lane 24, Phil Cox. In lane 25, Andy Watts. In lane 26, Aiden Milne. In lane 27, Adam, Adam Doobie. And in lane 28, Levi Wooley. 60 seconds.
athletes, once you are ready, head on over to your rowers, R set them on, and then we will start the event behind the green line. Athletes, let's get ourselves behind the green line. We are ready. The, the ladies are ready. The guys are ready as well. Judges, are you ready? Athletes, let's get ready. Arnold's Fitness Games. We will start this event in 10 seconds. Stand by. Three, two, one, go. Here we go, one of my favorite workouts of the day. Dirty 30. Good old fashioned chipper. Again, one of my favorite style of workouts. You gotta get through all 30 of each movement before you can move on to the next. So we're gonna start with a 30 calorie row. We'll then go to 30 ring dips, 30 deadlifts, 30 wall balls, 30 chest bars, and ending with a final 30 calorie row. What is the weight there, Sam, for the ladies on the deadlifts? We've got 55 kilos on the bar for these girls. And the guys have 80 kilos. The separator here has been the ring dips. So the big separators in this workout, well, particularly on the female side, is that gymnastics capacity, getting through 30 ring nips and 30 chest bars in one workout. Two minutes in and all of our male athletes right now on those ring dips. Watch out, watch out. Lane 25, Andy Watts blazing through. And lane 19, Tyler McManus. Those are your current leaders here after two movements on the men's side. So on the female side, we're just watching all these females get through 30 ring dips. The next movement they have is deadlifts. Mary Clelland out of Ram CrossFit lane nine to make a start on the deadlifts. And on the men's side, lane 17, 18, and 19, Powell Casil, McManus, first athletes there on the wall ball, as is Andy Watts, lane number five. And it's Ellie Geldard, Sarah Thompson, and Stephanie Wayman all to the barbell at the same time.
A lot of our RX boys going unbroken here, as they should be. You want to go home with some points? Now's the time to go. Andy Watts, ladies and gentlemen, lane 25. But really close by Alessio Casille. Alessio, avanti, avanti. Two athletes on the men's side on those chest to bars. Andy Watts, ladies and gentlemen, lane 25 in all black. Beautiful technique on those chest to bars. Five minutes in. And Mary Clellan's holding her lead. In lane nine on the female side. Number two, Sarah Thompson coming into the wall balls now. Ladies and gentlemen, Alessio Casilla, the man from Italy. Alessio, first on the roar. Avanti, avanti, Alessio, let's go, let's go. Andy Watts coming to the rower now. Alessio pulling at 1,700. Six calories in already. Andy Watts at four calories. Ben Longton also pulling hard. Five calories, 1,700. Hey, but there's no looking back here. Alessio, 25 calories already. Garcia will come out and he's going to win event number four here. Ladies and gentlemen, Alessio Garcia. Coming in. On the female side, we're starting to get to those Chester bars now, and this is where we saw it all change in the previous heats. Ben Longton coming in second. What a huge row by him. Came in third, but just blasted through. Jesus Christ. Under a minute for 30 calories. Come on, lad. That's some power there. Andy Watts comes in third. And in fourth, Levi Woolley comes in as well. Jordan Powell falling through as well. And Mary Clans on to the row. We are seven and a half minutes in. The time to beat is 8.52. So she's got a minute 20 now to get these 30 cows. Tyler McManus comes in at well for lane 19. Kyle Reed, Tom Arnold, lanes 15 and 16, battling it out. Kyle Reed, five calories to go. And Reed is done. Tom Arlund with five calories remaining. Reed with a few more pulls. Reed is through. Final athlete on the floor, Nathan Bland. And that does it, ladies and gentlemen. Nathan Bland, final athlete, crossing the finish line on the men's side. Everyone is through in sub nine minutes. Final five cows for Mary Clennon in nine. We are past that time to be say, in the previous heat.
Final two cows left. And Mary, she's going to get across the line. She's in your heat winner on the RX females. Now it's all to play for for that two and three. Eight cows down, lane 12, Sarah Thompson. Ellie Galdon, eight cows also. Here we go. These girls have got to pull hard and they've got to hold on. You cannot afford to rest. A little over two minutes till we hit that 12 minute time cap. And some huge rowing going down in lane two. Lacey McKenzie. She's pulling a consistent two 1400 minutes. on this row. It's the final six cows for her. And she's still holding strong on that 1400 row. Eighteen cows down here. Lane six. Tara Watkins. Ninety seconds. Ellie Geldard. It's going to be a race for two and three. Five cows left. In lane ten, Ellie is on her final two calories. One cow left for Ellie. She's going to get across the line. And Sarah Thompson. Final calorie for her. And she's in your three in this heat. Another handoff for Tara Watkins. One minute. Superb finish from her across the line. Another hand up. Lane five, Georgina Landy. With some strong rowing to finish. 45 seconds left. Georgina Landy, oh, just pipped to the line. Kelly Griffiths in lane three. That's what I mean. You cannot afford as soon as you hit those 30 cows, you are off seconds. the road over the green line. Seven cows to go down here for Jade Armstrong. 15. We're into those. 10. 10 seconds, let's go! Four calories left at the end. Three, two, one, time! As Sam Wilding just makes it in as well, flings herself across the line. Nothing was getting between her and finishing that event. And these, these guys can afford to leave it all on the floor. That is their final event of the day. And what an incredible day of competition it has been for our RX athletes. An incredibly competitive field. Thank you, RX athletes. We will find out the podium finishers after the final event of the day, somewhere around 5.30 to 6 o'clock. But right now we ask our elite heat one to come to the holding area. We're gonna bring you out shortly. Yes, that's right. Two final heats of Dirty 30 event number four before we shuffle our leaderboards and announce our top seven male and female elite finalists. So everything to play for in this final event heat one of the elites coming out next. All right, Totti, we are good to go. Let's go with our elite heat one. Elite Heat 1 coming uh, to the floor right now for their fourth event. And remember, only the top athletes will advance to event number five. So this is for all the marbles. Let's see who we have here in Heat number one. In lane one, Amy Wright Hamilton. In lane two, Jenny Matthews. In lane three, Magdalena Suleiman. In lane four, Maddie O'Sullivan. In lane five, Emily Pursehouse. In lane six, Siri Meha. In lane seven, Faye Morcat. 
In lane eight, Lauren Hunter. In lane nine, Bridget Gibbs. In lane 10, Laura Harris. In lane 11, Emily Trout. In lane 12, Fenella Gilson. In lane 13, Katie Hicklin. In lane 14, Katie Amos. Who do you have there, Stella? In 15, Charles Rankin. Anthony Higgins in 16, Alex McIntosh in 17. Henry Roberts in 18, James Strudwick in 19, Connor Murphy in 20. In 21, Max Camozzi, Joseph Davis in 22, Joe Hurley in 23. Jack Turner in 25, Timothy Davis in 26, in 27, Sam Cowler. And Evan Davies in lane 28. Rounds off our Heat 1 Elite. So athletes, you have one minute. Your start position is behind the green line. That's also where you will finish event number four. Uh, ladies, set your rowers and behind the green line. Ladies, behind the green line. Thank you, athletes. 30 seconds. Ten seconds. Stand by. Three, two, one, go. Dirty 30, the first of two elite heats. Coming into this penultimate workout, we have an elite final. Top seven men and women will progress. So this is the final opportunity of these athletes to make their place in our top seven final. And we're starting with a 30 calorie row. So the top seven from the female and the male elites will advance to the final. And the final will be had here on the right side of our event hall. The right side of the event hall will host the final event. See several of our judges' hands up for this final five calories. Literally nothing to separate the field on the men's side. Already on the female side, she killed it in events one, two, and three. Siri Meha already advancing to those ring dips. Wow, leading the pack here by more than 15 seconds. Timothy Davis is the first athlete through the ring dips. He makes a start on the deadlifts just ahead of Joe Hurley, Max Camosi out of lane 21. Oh, Two heats of elite athletes, so they know they've got to push hard to make an impact on this event. For the ladies, the ring dips are the real separator here. Still leading Siri Meha, lane six in the white tank top. If she can come through here first, she'll have a good chance to be in the final event. 80 kilos on the bar, Totti. These boys are making this look like reps on reps.
Wow. At the exact same time, Faye Morgan, Siri Meha, wedding to that barbell, 30 deadlifts for both athletes. Timothy Davis with a four rep advantage on the wall balls. We see the separator of this workout on the men's side, the chest to bar pull-ups. Only three female athletes here on the floor. Katie Hicklin is there. And now Lauren Hunter, lane eight, also joining the party. There you go, the 30 unbroken reps. Lane 26, Timothy Davis. Connor Murphy also through, but Timothy Davis is going to make a start on the chest of our pull ups, and he is already 10 reps in. Connor Murphy, Max Camosi. Up there with Joe Hurley, Jack uh, Turner. On the ladies' side, Katie Hicklin, Faye Morgan, and Siri Meha. All these ladies on those wall balls. Let's see what happens when we get to those chest bars. It looks like Timothy Davis is getting some big sets in. But look out, look out, Max Camozzi. He's coming through to the row. West Leeds CrossFit going head to head with Blueprint Training. Timothy Davis. Jack Turner is the third athlete onto the row. And the ladies are advancing to the chest two bars. Meha, Hickling, Morgan, all three ladies. Katie Hickling already ripping those out. And look at her go, lane 13. Katie Hickling going for a massive set there. Max Camozzi is past the halfway mark. It's head to head with Timothy Davis. These boys put it in a big row. We've got 1,700 calories being pulled down here with just five calories to go. Who's going to go over the line first for this elite men's heat? Timothy Davis takes the heat win. Joe Hurley over in second. Max Camozzi will be the third over the line. And on the ladies' side, Siri Meha, first female athlete to the rower. But Faye Morcott right next to her. It's going to be a race to the finish for those 30 calories. That was James Strudwick going over the line just at the same time as Jack Turner. That's going to be down to the judges' timer on that one. Connor Murphy over the line. Charles Rankins through up the top there as well. Third female athlete to the rower, Katie Hicklin, right now. Siri Meha. 10 calories, but Faye Morgan is pulling harder. Siri at 1,100, and this is Faye. Alex McIntosh over the line, crawling in past Joseph Davis. Hand is up for Sam Cowler and Evan Davis. Siri Remember, Meha two heats. Time cap matters.
Evan Davis is over. Sam Cowler, 808 unofficial. Under four minutes to go. Siri Meha still leading 23 calories. Faye Morka, 22. Ladies and gentlemen, give a warm round of applause for your Heat 1 winner, Siri Meha. Coming in second is Faye Morcott. Anthony Higgins over the line there, 903 unofficial. That seals it up for the men. Katie Hickling comes in third here in heat number one. All of our female, almost all of our female athletes here on the rover right now. And ladies and gentlemen, let's give some love to our athletes. Let's make some noise. Come on. Who's going to come in sixth next? Who will be the first athlete? It will be Lauren Fisher, Owen Hunter coming in. Approaching 90 seconds. And in lane number 10, Laura Harris sprints through as well. And coming in next, ladies and gentlemen, Emily Trout, lane 11. One minute to go. A lot of our athletes here crossing over already. Next up, lane number nine, Bridget Gibbs. Lane number 12, Fenella Gilson comes in as well. Wow, what a finish. We still have a few athletes here left. 30 seconds to go. CrossFit, we do not stop cheering until the clock takes. So let's show some love for Jenny Matthews. Last reps for Jenny here on the chest to bar. Come on, Jenny. Let's go, let's go. 10 seconds. Let's go, let's go. Five, three, two, one, time. Wow, that was epic. Arnold Fitness, thank you all for being such good spectators and showing love to our athletes we're going to reset the floor and return with the final heat for the elites here in event number four after event number four we're going to go to the scorecards and when we return we return with the final event of the day event number five where seven elite athletes from the males and the females will advance according to the points in events one, two, three, and four.
Elite Heat number two, you're in the holding pen. It looks like the floor is ready. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your final elite here in event number four. In lane number one, we have Nicole Crouch. In lane number two, Emily Steele. In lane number three, Millie Goldspink. In lane number four, Lito Calogianim. In lane number five, Connie Easby. In lane number six, Alexia Thomason. In lane number seven, Helena Collins. In lane number eight, Melissa Wells. In lane number nine, Georgia Davenport. In lane number 10, Sapphire Goddard. In lane number 11, Hat Hewitt. In lane number 12, Leonie Hoff. In lane number 13, Hanson Marshall. And in lane number 14, Ailey Workman. Those are your elite athletes here in heat number two. And now off to Stella. Who do we have there and on your side? And in lane 15, Sam Dale, Matthew Hoskin in 16. All right, it's Newman in 17, Gabby Castro in 18, Paul Mellers in 19. In 20, Mark Banner, Tom Kingdon in 21, Phil Roy Peters in 22, Jordan Powell in 23, next to him, Jordan Shuttleworth in 24, Sam Woodhead in 25, Dan Mugford in 26, Luke Sweeney in 27, and James Fox rounds it off. This is the final heat, elite heat two. Athletes, one minute. Athletes, you will start this event behind the rower. Thank you, athletes. Please make your way to your start mats. The green line is your start and finish position for this final event number four. 30 seconds. Behind the green line, 10 seconds. Behind the green line, athletes. Stand by. Three, two, one, go. So it was an exciting finish for heat number one. And we are expecting no less for this final heat here on day two of the Arnold Fitness Games 2024, the elite men and women of heat number two for Dirty 30. And with two heats, Totti, there is uh, everything to play for. Some fast times gone in here on heat number one of the elite division. Yes, indeed, there's going to be some fighting here in heat number two if any of these ladies want to advance to the final. Jordan Powell, lane 23. 30 calories done in 56 seconds. Okay, okay. It looks like Sam Woodhead likes a ring dip. And on the females on Helena Collins. First off the rower into those ring dips. Jordan Shuttleworth looks to be moving well. And yes, through the 30 reps. And now we have all our female athletes under the ring dips. But it's not the row, it's the ring dips that separate those who go to event five and those who don't. Sam 
So we have our first athlete onto the wall balls. Paul Sapphire. Bellas. Sapphire Goddard, lane 10, flying through those ring dips all by herself right now on those deadlifts. Oh my God, no one is even close. Yeah, so we got Paul Mellers. He was through the deadlift super fast. So he started those wall balls. He's got about a five rep advantage up there in lane number 19. And now Helena Collins and Nicole Crouch and Leonie Hoff already on the deadlifts. Down here, there's a little battle with Jordan Shuttleworth and Sam Woodhead out of 24-25. But look out, Paul Mellers is starting the chest of our pull-ups. Four reps ahead of Jordan Shuttleworth, but can they close the gap? Meanwhile, Safari Goddard was the first female athlete to the wall balls, but Helena, Helena Collins and Nicole Crouch, both on the wall balls, and Helena and Nicole obviously have the advantage of height here on the wall balls. Let's see what Safari can do here do some damage control. She'll have to go unbroken. Well, look out, look out. Paul Mellers is coming through to the rower. 427 on the clock. Jesus Christ. Jordan Shuttleworth is joining. It's down to the row. Two athletes onto the final 30 calories. And right now, Helena Collins, lane seven. In the white top, your only female athlete there on the Chester Pass. And now Safar Gona joins her as well. Lane seven and 10 battling it out. Well, we knew anything could happen at all. And it did. Totti over here on the men's side. This whole leaderboard is shuffling right now. Tom Kingdom is going to be the fourth athlete onto the row. Sapphire Goddard, first female athlete onto the row. Right Helena now, Collins. Jordan Shuttleworth is leading the heat. But can he hold on and get over the line ahead of Paul Mellers? Helena Collins She's right to get next over to the Sapphire. Green line. Sapphire pulling at 1,000. Oh, Helena Collins 46. pulling at 1,200. Paul Mellers takes second in the heat. 5.53 unofficial. Tom Kingdom, Phil Roy. Sam Woodhead, these guys are fighting now for a top place finish. And now Nicole Crouch comes in as the third female athlete. Helena Collins already 10 calories on the rower. Safari Sam Goddard Woodhead's with over 12. the line. He takes third in the heat. Phil Roy, 623. I make that fourth in the heat just ahead of Tom Kingdom. And it is a dog fight here. Helena Collins, Sapphire Goddard, neck and neck. Helena at 19, Sapphire at 19 as well. James Fox, he will be the next athlete over the line. That's what you call an elite finish. Those five athletes battling on that row and still only seven Helena minutes Collins. in. Helena Collins. Already five reps remaining. And coming from behind and finishing the race, winning heat number two, Helena Collins. Morris Newman is through and over the line up here. Sam Dell's through. And 7.04. 
Safari Goddard coming in second if I saw closely, but it was really tight there. 7.10 for Sam Dell. 7.04 for Maurice Newman. Jordan Powell through the Chester bar. Luke Sweeney onto his last couple of calories. Luke Sweeney falls over the line. Four minutes. Nicole Crouch is over. She's third in the heat. Emily Steele starts starting at five. You got Dan Mugford down here with Jordan Powell. Connie Easby is going to come in at fourth in this heat. Sorry, fifth. Dan Mugford's going to be next, 838, unofficial. He's done the work. Halfway through for Jordan Powell. It was Leonie Half in lane number 12 finishing. And now we have all our female athletes on the rower. Matthew Hosking, last five calories for him. Don't forget two heats. The time getting over that line is so, so important for these elite athletes. Hansi Marshall comes in as well in lane 13. That's Matthew Hosking over the line. Jordan now onto his final 4-3. And next on the women's side, Melissa Wells, lane number eight. Jordan Powell goes over 9.36, unofficial. And there, Emily Steele comes in as Millie Goldsmith and Lito Calogiani. Two minutes to go, both female athletes here. Closing on 20 calories. And we have two more athletes here on the floor. Lito Galogiani, 90 seconds to go. She's going to finish. We're going to have all our female athletes in heat number two finish with the current cap. Calogiani comes in as well. Final athlete here, Millie Goldsmith. Let's give it up for Millie. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen, Millie Goldsmith comes in. Yeah, oh, great athletes. job. Congratulations to the elite athletes. Closing up an exciting way to wrap up an exciting day two here at the Arnold Fitness Games. Please do not go anywhere. We are going to be entering our scores into the leaderboard right now. We're going to bring you the top seven men and women from the elite division onto the floor for a very exciting final. You do not want to miss it. Back soon. <laughs> 